Hi guys, Afnan here. This, this is my update of the gutter grow bit set. What's been happening to it? I built the the bigger set, which is uh, in front here. In on July 10, I completed building that on July 10, and this smaller set, which having a single barrel. I've done just about three weeks ago on the 10th of October. Let's have a look what's been happening. This smaller set which was only three weeks old and it's running from a very small farm and very few fish. I put about six or seven tilapia fingerling in, inside and I've been running this from I'm using all uh, Hydroton was from a previous grow bit and I have tomatoes plant aubergines or eggplant and chili so I'm testing out this smaller set which I feel is a very simple set to build a barrel and two three feet of gutter which I use as draw bed with the pot with hydroton. This main gutter draw bed that I completed building three and a half months ago are doing very well. The plants that uh, I planted, like in the last video, are still there. These are Kailan which is actually overdue for picking but just leave it there but no no time to uh, pick a kasum plant which is the laksa plant which is also doing very well lemon glass turmeric plant spearmint a lot of leafy greens chili as you can see here there's a lot of chilies these are chili bara from Indonesia and they are doing good in aquaponics Korea, um, this uh, Thai basil and uh, chive are doing well few of those uh, mountain onions and peppermint they are doing very well in the got to grow a bit. The system been running I can say without any problem. The water control is good. Occasionally I, uh, in two occasions I have problem with the pumps. The pachu fish that I put inside the tank uh, somehow nibble on the electrical wires and forcing uh, pump to be damaged. I almost got a electric. I was almost electrocuted for uh, due to the insulation damage on the wire, but was uh, experienced just a mild electrical shock. Uh, so there's still pachu fish in there, but I need to actually remove them from the place where I have pumps or wiring inside the tank. This set is a. I highly recommend this particular design for those living in small that have a small space to plants vegetables. The footprint for this gutter grow bit is only about two and a half by six feet, and you can have the fish in the tank. Those tank I have. Uh, Lampam fish and pachu fish. And they are producing enough nutrient. If needed, we can add uh, simple fertilizer like uh, chicken droppings or good droppings uh, based fertilizer. I would not recommend any chemical fertilizer for aquaponics. Uh, fertilizer is only if you really need it and it's best to keep it at a minimum. And it's also that 
it's best to practice without fertilizer or any additive first until you have really understand what is aquaponics all about and you understand how to take care of the plants then you start to add uh, additive or nutrient or fertilizer otherwise you will not learn much in aquaponics if you straight away practice using fertilizer as uh, mentioned in earlier part of this video this single barrel cattle grow bit set it's been doing quite well it's a bit thin because uh, lack of nutrient probably for the tomato plants tomato plants are easily attacked by uh, disease or ampid and so far this one has not been attacked yet and I have to try to figure out and use some kind of uh, repellent to minimize the damage if empty or the white flies attack. Not sure whether you can see the fish is in there. Water is clear. That's the condition of the water in this tank is three and a half months old water I never changed this water and so far it's looking good so you can see the bottom of the fish tank and those at the far ends are the siphon outlet let me go to the other end so that you can see siphons are working so far doesn't give me any problem and it works very well this is the smallest of the siphon that I made You can see the water is quite clear, there's a lot of fish. It's a simple set to build and it does it works it works very well. Right, that's a simple updates that what's been going on in my aquaponic set that I made a few months ago and so far i'm happy with it and i'm still monitoring and see if there are any more improvement that i can make to make it easier for everyone to practice aquaponics right thanks for watching watching bye